The IDF is preparing to withdraw thousands of fighters from the Gaza Strip, including reserve units who will return to their families and jobs. I'm Yair Pinto, reporting to you from the Gaza-Israel border. I'm getting released today as well, at least for the time being. Don't forget that we are on high alert every day against a much bigger enemy, Hezbollah. The war in the north is against Hezbollah, and all of us reservists, and I am amongst them, are ready to return and fight when we are called. But yes, I am being released from the reserves for the time being, back to my family and work. By work, I mean producing a lot of quality content for you, so please share and follow us. The IDF moves to the third stage of the war. In the third stage, we are supposed to move to what has been defined as raids and remote attacks. The IDF will not leave the Gaza Strip at this stage. Raids will be carried out based on intelligence information and remote attacks will destroy infrastructure remaining in the areas in which the IDF has finished fighting. The reason these targets were not destroyed before is that they did not pose an immediate threat and there was a desire to advance the ground maneuver. As mentioned, this phase will last about four months and then we will enter the fourth and final phase of stabilizing the Gaza Strip. The IDF will have to redefine the borders and the new security elements to ensure security for the residents of Israel. This phase should also take about four months which means that the war plan is still ahead of us. Several elements could change the plan along the way. One thing that is currently unclear is the effect of opening a campaign in the north against Hezbollah. The IDF received clear goals, the elimination of Hamas, which includes the elimination of the military and governmental infrastructure, the termination of the leadership and the return of the Israeli hostages. In terms of achieving the goals, we are roughly halfway there. Let's believe in God and He will lead us safely during these unclear stages. Let's hear a little bit from my friends from the field who fought together with me during this war. I'm here with Offer. Offer is my commander in the IDF. We've been serving together in this war for um, 114 days since it started. Could you share a little bit, I mean, what it means for you to serve in the IDF because you're a civilian who just left everything and came here? Yeah, so I, I think it was almost uh, four months ago. Uh, so I left the family, uh, left the office, uh, everything behind. And, you know, for me it was, uh, I could say, uh, I was happy to have, uh, you know, officers and soldiers like you and the rest of us. Yeah. Uh, and I was amazed when all of you came, uh, when I just called you and asked you to come. And I think we, we made it. I think we, we did some uh, very important stuff in the intelligence unit. Uh, so I'm grateful for all of you mm -hmm. uh, for joining me and uh, supporting our unit. How does it feel to be a woman in the, in the IDF during this time? You know, the majority here are, uh, are men. I'm feeling very proud as a woman. I feel that I have the power to lead, to impact, and I feel uh, very valued. Uh, so I think it's a great time to be a woman in the IDF. What is the most significant moment for you personally in this war? For me, first of all, I'm a family man. I, I'm, I, have two, I have a wife and three children. And to be a long way from there for a long period of time isn't easy for me and especially for my wife. Definitely. Um, and I think the start of the war, when you, when you learn, again, I was stuck abroad. So you, first of all, you hear about something and you see videos and you don't know what's happening. And, and then you, the, the death toll just keeps on rising and the photos and everybody's just panicking and it's, it's felt awful. I don't, for me, 
I don't know, I didn't know how to handle. Could you summarize the, the feelings that you have today as our unit is being released uh, from the Gaza Strip? A lot of relief, uh, excited to go back to civilian life, and crazy to think that this period of time is over behind us. How do you feel about today uh, being released and uh, returning to the civilian life? I don't know, it's just uh, nice to go back uh, home uh, to the families. In your normal life, you are managing a big company. So it looks like in, in the other life. But, uh, <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm a founder of a company called Hopon. Uh, we are doing uh, uh, technology for public transportation in Israel and Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have uh, offices in uh, three different locations, Israel, uh, Germany and the UK. Uh, we have un 100 uh, employees in the company and uh, lucky for me I have a partner in the company. So, so he was not called yeah, to... On October 7, I just told him, listen, now I won't, I won't be available for, I don't for know, anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know for how long, uh, but I'm trusting that you manage everything. I'm probably the worst, the worst uh, job there is. I'm an insurance agent. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'll be able to return it as quickly as possible. I think it's going to take a while to to get my bearings around and to see if I can handle it. I think it'll be okay. Probably going to go back to meeting and try to to tell people that some, sometimes stuff happens. So we need to get ready for it. I know that you just got engaged just got right engaged. before this, this war. So what are you going to do now that you're com coming back home? A lot of wedding planning. I'm probably going to be busier after the war than I was during the war. <laughs> uh, now the real uh, commander is coming. <laughs> <laughs> the real commander is coming with uh, the... <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd like to say Mazal Tov. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. It was really an honor to serve and meet you Thank you very in this much. war. Right uh, behind us is the Gaza Strip. This is the border between Israel and Gaza. And only a few minutes ago, we, uh, Hamas fired rockets at us. Mm -hmm. If you will be called again to the north, what will you do? I will come back again, do the same thing, just uh, in the north. Good. Same thing, same job. Yeah, we are here to, to defend Israel. Yes. One word to our viewers all over the world that are praying for Israel every day. Thanks for, for everyone who encourages us, us. Thanks for everyone who, who supported us. Uh, thanks for everyone who took the time to look at these videos and to, uh, to, to, to learn to learn about the subject. And uh, I hope that you will remain on our side and then hopefully we'll continue on to victory. Thank you. Toda Rava. We really hope that you support us uh, and we hope that you can strengthen, strengthen us. We will all have better days and better time. Uh, that we'll all be happy and the, all of the hostages will come back home. So we need your support and your help and we love you. Thanks for being with me throughout this war. I'm Yair Pinto from TBN Israel, reporting to you from the Gaza-Israel border. Continue to spread the truth and pray for the heroes who fought with me shoulder to shoulder for over 100 days. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for the peace of Israel and help us in this battle of sharing the truth. Good, thank you so much. Thank you.